get them fired up because they're going to need the support. They're going to need it here because we could be looking at a world record here. Yeah, 153.94. Ryan Lochte, the Olympic champion, as well as the world record holder, looking to try and retain his world record to a very fast finishing area. He'll be in lane number five. Ash Delaney and Hayden Stokel in there for Australia. Nakano also in there in lane number three. So only four competitors. And Irie in between the two Aussie boys. So no clear water beside him, but perhaps he'll create his own clear water by being so far in front. Takeshi Nakano, who was fifth yesterday in the 100, but he's more renowned as a 200 metre backstroker. Ash and Hayden, our two best 200 backstrokers. That was Ash, the first one. And here he is. Only 0.02 seconds outside the world record in the 100. And we expect him to go as well or not better in the 200. And there's Hayden Stokel. Interesting feeling mentally to know that you are pushing yourself to try and go a world record. It's a lot of pressure. Yep. It's a big thought process to try and contain prior and during. Especially when your coach comes out prior to the start <laughs> of the, the, the uh, meet tonight and said, almost guarantees it. Well, it's in English, so maybe you didn't know. <laughs> well, we'll all know soon enough. It's the men's 200 metres backstroke. Just four competitors and they're ready to go. Thank you, Marks. And they're away. Good even start. When they emerge, we will see in lane number three. Nakano of Japan in lane four. Delaney of Australia. Irie in five and Stokel in six. So if he is going for this world record, Irie, important to get into his technique. Now, the thing about Irie is the fact that he's in Japan known as the water bottle kid because he does so much work in the training pool with a water bottle filled partly with water on his head to make sure that that head does not move. Look at it. Just fluid. Just poetry in motion. There is no roughness about his stroke. The shoulder comes out first. The arm follows. It's dead straight. The head does not move at all. The thing that's really impressive is, if, if it's when he enters the water with his hands, there's just no splash. No. Have a look at De Ashley Delaney next to him. Who's in second place. He was under the first time. He's still under the world record split at the halfway stage. Yeah, 0 0.31 under world record pace. Okay, here is the tough lap. Keep building your momentum. Don't start to slow down at all. Make it feel like you're building through the second 25 of this 50. It doesn't even look like he's working no. on that overhead shot to but see. Underneath, this is it. This is where he's working, Matt. Underneath is so strong, rotating from side to side with the hips, but grabbing the water with such depth. Look at him go. Let's have a look. Oh. He's under. He's well and truly under. So it's Irie who's coming first, Delaney second, and then Nakano third, and Stokel fourth. The Japanese he's team is it up. getting yes. behind him. Ryan Lochte's world record really is in danger here. We haven't seen one of the Japanese swimmers swim this fast for a long time. 153.94 is the world record time. There's the world record. Can he get underneath it? Can he do it, Irie? He's done it. Of course he can. He smashed it. He's broken the world record. He's broken it in half. The 19-year-old from Japan has smashed the world record in the 200 metres backstroke. He has just thrown out a massive challenge to the Americans. Mike uh, Lochte has really... 152.86. The world record was 153.94. He's taken more than a second off that. That is absolutely phenomenal to be able to make that kind of improvement. If he can swim that fast in a couple of months' time in Rome, that's that's almost a guarantee of a medal to Japan. And just when uh, Kasuki Kitajima was taking a break, Japan had lost their superstar. Here is another superstar for Japan. Who will definitely be in the pool of Rome. He just is just... The way he moves is just incredible, isn't it? Just it is. It's just so smooth. It's yep. so beautiful. And I think we've got Howie getting the dictionary out to have a chat to him, the English-Japanese dictionary, as we take a look on the Lumix replay. Really, from the start, he was just sensational, that long, loping stroke. It's almost like an artist, the strokes of a brush. Yeah. He just looks so, so smooth through the water. Turns underwater, just sensational, squeezing the arms with the streamline. Doesn't spend a lot of time underwater. The feet really rotate from side to side. I haven't actually seen it so dramatic like that from the, the rotation of the kick from left to to right. 
just beautiful. I mean, there is nothing that you could, straight down the center of the pool, there's nothing you could fault in there. And really more racing, more improvement for this young man. Look, there's the center of the lane underneath him. He's right on it. Fantastic. Well, let's confirm those results. A world record here at the AIS in Canberra. And Yusuke Irie is the man. And uh, I'm looking forward to this as much as I was that swim. Here's Mark Howard with the champ. Fantastic swim, Ayasuki. New world record. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Did you expect to go that fast? It was a very, very quick time. I can't believe I, I couldn't think that fast. I, I could go that fast. Do you think you can go even quicker than that? You took one second off the world record. I could say only one, one phrase, unbelievable. And, you know, uh, I'm going to uh, swim, swim in the world champs, so I want to break world record again there. Break it again, why not? You're going beautifully, mate. It was an unbelievable swim. Now, we noticed in the swim, Ayasuki's head is so still. Is that something he trains on a lot? あの、レスマイにすごい集中してたと思うんですけど、何かそういう集中集中してたっていうあの、やっぱり世界新を出したいという気持ちがあったので、そして日豪対抗として、やっぱり日本に勝利をもたらしたいと思ったので、まあその